Hey everyone, Paul Hernandez here, back at San Diego Comic-Con with a personal favorite and a Sideshow fan favorite artist that you all know, Mr. Brian Root. How you doing, sir? I'm doing fantastic, and thank you for the kind words, oh, sir. Oh, you're <laughs> very, yes, yeah, sir, you know. Yeah. I, people are always surprised. I've got the grays, and they're like, you are an old man. I was like, oh, uh, I feel it. You're Brian, looking good. It is, uh, it's very good to see you. Let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about being back at San Diego Comic-Con. I'm gonna assume you're you're a veteran to Comic-Con. How many Comic-Cons does this yeah. make for you? Well, this, I found on the exhibitor portal. Okay. I had, wasn't quite sure, but 24 consecutive now. 20? Which would have been 26, I believe, had we not had a little time <laughs> off, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we all got a, a vacation, right? Yeah. So a staycation so, in. Yeah, just quarter century, no big deal. Yeah. Speaking about feeling old. <laughs> well, it's good, to, I mean, it's good to be in your booth, and your booth looks incredible. Thank we'll you. We'll show you guys all the booth in, you know, this. Roll the B-roll, Sam. This is the place and, to uh, do it, man. It's beautiful. It looks so nice. And we're standing behind some of your art, some of the art that is available on Sideshow. Oh, yeah. But a lot of I it. wanted to talk to you about the art that you brought with you. Last time we've caught up with yeah. you, we've seen you a couple times in some live streams and Sideshow live streams. Oh, yeah. Um, what have you been working on right since there. we've last seen you? Okay. Yeah, it was okay. one of your live streams, yeah. little Frank Frazetta. What have you, uh, so what else have you been working on in collaboration with SciShow? Or busy. Extremely busy, man. Um, still a lot of the same stuff that we've always done. Okay. Very heavily involved with all of the Star Wars stuff and everything from style guides to merchandising to the fine art lines with right. Kincaid and stuff with you guys, the Darth Maul piece. So always busy in the land of Star Wars in that <laughs> sandbox, man, which I'm so fortunate yeah. to be because who doesn't want to do that? Yeah, I mean, can you talk to us a little bit about, I mean, you've got some, some variants, you've worked on various things oh, you've yeah. worked on with Lucas. Ha have there been any uh, moments where you're like, okay, I am still Brian Rude, and I, but I can't believe I'm working on Star Wars. Well, like the imposter effect type feeling <laughs> or whatever, yeah. Um, dude, we thought we'd do like a Star Wars gig, or yeah. I'd be happy if I got a book cover or a job that I could kind of notch out off the bucket list. I did a Star Wars job, never thought it'd be two decades of almost continuous work of storybooks and key well, art. And I mean, with your style and how incredible yeah. it looks, it, there's no, Thank there you. was no doubt, I'm sure, in anyone's mind that it would be oh, yeah. a decade's span. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got to be your biggest fan first, a right? Doubt. A lot you of doubt be. in this mind. <laughs> Brian, I, I, you know, maybe for some people who may, this may be their first introduction to you. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about what would you say is the Brian Rude style? Oh, a buffet of art. A little bit of everything, but photorealism. Yeah. I had to learn all different styles just to keep food on the table and right. keep work coming in. So kind of an artistic of chameleon that all ended up melding together after 10, 20 yeah. plus years into just a really kind of classic illustrative style that is <laughs> fun and punchy. And it, it can be utilized on different properties. Absolutely. From Marvel to The Walking Dead stuff I do to The Creep Show, Umbrella Academy. It's just a familiar look, I think, to a lot of people that... They feel like they've seen it before, of but course. it's something new. Yeah, and I think the the use of your photorealism with the yeah. ability that you have to sort of capture a moment in fandom for these people That's the thing. is it's exactly about, why people all keep coming that. back to Brian Rude. Because, I mean, yeah. like, as you can see, you know, and Sideshow's been fortunate enough to carry... So we've well, been so fortunate like to be I've able been to work with to have you carry hey, some it of my works lines. both ways. No, and it's really great. You stuff. are, I mean, it is incredible. I mean, and you guys can see again even more on sideshow.com. But Brian, I mean, there are so many pieces here. What else? Uh, what did you bring with you to Comic Con? That's an exclusive. That's new. Let's get into it. Let's do it. No, we have on the table. I did a couple of uh, one's a Daryl and Rick piece, and one's just a Rick Grimes piece. So okay. I did a couple exclusives, kind of leading into that final season of Walking Dead. Thought. We have a couple Walking Dead exclusives as well as the entire art line that can be found on the official Walking Dead store. Oh, the great. Thing I'm seeing and everything. Yeah, so we have a select handful of original paintings, a right. lot of my artist proofs from both the line I do with you guys, some of the older publishers, some of the official Disney, just right. scattering of artwork through over the years. All very limited stuff, some of them limited, like the Ghost Rider here with Sideshow. And yeah, most of these have been sold out already on the Sideshow site. So we just try to bring stuff that is not impossible to come by but you're only going to get this stuff here yes exactly the artist proofs the originals absolutely and we have standard editions too you've been incredibly welcoming to us brian we appreciate it on. oh that's true it is so, yeah you should see them right after camera right when this light goes um, off so it gets different we'll let you get no. back to it you were fortunate enough to close off your boots so we can do this but i've got to ask yes you've been 24 comic cons yeah right 24. on 24. 
Yeah. Do you have any unusual or fun rituals that you do every single year? Same coffee shop. You stay in the same hotel. Is the camera still on? Yeah, it's yeah. coffee then. Oh, it's coffee. No. All right, yeah. Uh, the rituals, honestly, more than any of that stuff is, for me, it's going to sound stupid, but like as exhausted as I get here, this yeah. is like the ultimate battery, creative battery recharge. Oh, right. On the whole, I'd say one to two weeks after the show is just the mind is spinning constantly yeah. of like, Oh, that thing I saw, or that style, or this idea, or it's just re-energizing. Right. Mentally, physically, done, dead. Of course, yeah. Can't even hardly stand it. Yeah, because inspiration's got to find you working. And yeah, so the you're, coffee. And, and you're working now. The coffee is still working right now, but uh, behind this smile that you can't see behind this mask, it's... Oh, we can see in the eyes. Brian is definitely you smiling. You what's happening on this part. Well, we'll fix it in post. Uh, well, Brian, thank you so much for taking the time with All us. Right. Seriously. Uh, Sideshow, Brian you guys. Rude. And Again, sideshow.com or art.sideshow.com to check out even more of Brian's work. If you're here at Comic-Con, come say hi to Brian. Uh, thank you love so it. much for taking the time and hanging out with us. Thank all you guys, man. Thank Everybody you guys. watching, we love it. We love it. Thanks, guys. Comic-Con. Don't forget to let your geek sideshow.